When I was 27, I got married. Family life flowed like a quiet stream. We lived in a house given to us by my wife's father. The house was next to my wife's parents' house, so we often visited them. My father-in-law worked as a regional manager in a large company. He was often away on business trips or fishing with friends. My mother-in-law did not work, she was the housekeeper. Eleanor took care of her appearance, a beautiful woman at 50 with a good figure. Sometimes it seemed to me that she hadn't passed all her beauty on to her daughter. When my mother-in-law was alone, she would sometimes invite me to her house. She joked, I thought, in a somewhat ambiguous way, hinting at intimate moments. She often complimented me and showed interest in me as a man. I won't deny that sometimes I imagined scenarios with her, but these were only fantasies. In real life, I would have been afraid. One day my wife went away for a few weeks and abstinence began to affect me. When she came home from playing soccer, she asked me how the game went. I said, great, I scored a goal. She replied, that sounds fascinating. I would like to see you score goals. Then she invited me to dinner, jokingly saying that she was going to replace my wife. I replied that it would be very convenient for me. She laughed and said she would wait for me. That evening, I went to her house. We were alone. My mother-in-law greeted me in a short white dress. My reaction to her charming figure was very strong. I tried to control myself, telling myself that it was just my imagination. We sat down at the table, drank some wine, and she turned to adult topics. She asked me if I liked her dress. I said yes, it showed off her slender legs very well. She asked me to make sure and put my hand on her leg. As a result of all these actions, we quickly moved to the bedroom and spent a wonderful night. She kept repeating the phrase, score a goal for me. In the morning, I was very ashamed. She seemed to sense this and said that she knew about my mixed feelings. And she told me that she wasn't my wife's biological mother. My wife's mother died when she was two years old. Over time, our relationship developed into secret meetings and fantasies. Our relationship remains a strict secret and we continue to meet from time to time and act out our mutual fantasies.